Let x, y be the number of hours that a randomly selected person watches movies and sporting events respectively during a three month period. Expected value of x is 50, expected value of y is 20, variance of x is 50, variance of y is 30, and covariance of x, y is 10. The total hours that different individuals watch movies and sporting events during the three months are independent. 100 people are randomly selected and observed for these three months. Let T be the total number of hours that these uh, 100 people watch movies or sporting events during their three month period approximate the value of probability t is less than 7100. So first we calculate uh, the total number of hours uh, watched by one person. Uh, so from the problem it's very clear that all we are caring about is the total numbers and number of hours watched and um, x is for the movies and y is for the sporting events. So let's uh, call W to be their sum. W is equal to X plus Y. So W will be the total number of watching hours per person during the period given. So expected value of Y is expected value of X plus W. And uh, that's equal to E X plus E W. That's always uh, E X plus E Y. That's always how you, know, you can break up expected value for sum and uh, EX is 50, EY is 20. Those were the given values here. And so uh, we get expected value of W to be 70. So um, not variance of Z, but variance of W. Variance of W would be variance of X plus variance of Y plus two times covariance XY. So that's also a general formula for um, variance of a sum. And if uh, X and Y are independent, which they are in lots of cases, then the covariance is zero. And in this case, uh, we're not given that they're independent. So mm, we do have a covariance. Actually, we are given that the covariance is 10. So uh, we just put in the values here and get the variance of W to be 100. And uh, so the mean of W is then the expected value, which is 70 and the standard deviation is the square root of variance. So that's 10. And T we are given is the total watch time of 100 people. And uh, since the 100 is bigger than 30, so central limit theorem applies and uh, T can be treated as a normal variable whose mean would be uh, the sample size times the mean of each person, person's watch time, so 100 times 70. And then the standard deviation is the square root of the sample size times the standard deviation of each person's watch time. So we get that to be 100. And we need P of T less than 7,100. So first we need to change the 7,100 into Z score. And that be 7,100 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So that's one. So therefore probability T is less than 7,100 is probability Z is less than one, which from the tables we can see uh, is, um, so one gives us 0. 0.8413. So that will be the answer. Uh, 0 0.85, uh, 0 0.8, okay, it was 0 0.8413 from the table, not 0 0.8513. And so that is choice B.